All right, now that we've got the side panels off, you can see we've got access to the combustion chamber as well as the condensate chamber below. Um, by removing the shrouds around these chambers, it gives us access to the tubes themselves so that we can see the condition, whether they need to be cleaned or serviced in any way. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. We're going to take an 11 millimeter socket and remove the clamp. Underneath this clamp, there's a couple of more bolts that draw the shroud bands together so that you keep a tight seal on the combustion chamber. Okay, now there's also another one of these banding clamps on the back side. Now you can see we've got insulation wrap around the combustion chamber itself. So we're going to remove the re insulation wrap. It's just pushed on through the bolt holes or bolts. Loosen it on the other side. Okay, now you can see the combustion chamber with the insulation taken off it. We've got our draw bands here, draw bolts that hold the clamp on that. So we're going to take a six millimeter Allen wrench. we we'll just take these Allen bolts right out of it. There's one on the bottom and one on the top. Okay, once you've got the draw band bolts removed on both the front and the back, then you can remove the shrouds. Now these are just going to spin right around and pull off. See? You've got some gaskets on the inside that seal up the edges of the chamber to the uh, shroud. Again, that's why we want to pull those bands in pretty tight. The rear band is just easier to pull off from the rear, same way we did on the front. Just be careful of your cables, any of the sensor wires that are back here. Now this exposes the whole combustion chamber to us, the coils, the baffles, all the fin tubes. Uh, so that we can get in there and inspect it. If it were dirty, we could continue to clean it by removing the bands, which we're going to do, and take the uh, baffles off it. But this gives you a good, uh, a good view of the heat exchanger at this point. There's three sets of straps, or three straps on this, that hold all these baffles on the heat exchanger. There's one down and low, one high, and one in the middle. So 7 16 wrench, loosens up the bands. Just 
spin the band off like we did with the shrouds before. And you've got your band out of the way. And do the same thing with the other two. So we'll remove the third band. And again, that gives us the access to get to the baffles that are on the tubes of the heat exchanger. Now they just come off by grabbing them and gently pulling them off. Now these baffles have a small piece of insulation on it so that it will seal up the tubes and keep all that heat wrapped around the, the heat exchanger itself so that we don't lose any of it up the stack. It increases our efficiencies. So you would have to go around and remove all these, things, all these baffles to gain complete access to the heat exchanger itself. And again, it's just a matter of picking them off and turning them sideways so they come off. Now, once you get all the, the baffles taken off it, if these tubes were dirty, needed to be cleaned in any way, this is when you could actually go in there with your water or your brush and vacuum cleaner, depending upon how bad it is, to go in there and actually get these clean. If the heat exchanger is really plugged up for some reason, which you know it shouldn't be because it's a condensing product to begin with, it can also be cleaned through the burner itself, get access through the burner to clean on the inside. But typically, this is all you're really going to need to do. Wash it down. It'll drain itself out through the condensate. Uh, after it's cleaned up, then all you have to do is put it all back together in a reverse order. Put the baffles back on. Again, put the straps on to hold the baffles in place, and then bring your uh, shrouds around and clamp those on also. If you need any more information on how to take magnetic art, you can go to our website at lars.com. We have all of our documents, manuals, and the manual for the magnetherm would be there. Thank you.